Hi, I'm Ryan Emerson. Now I want to teach all of you to work. So, uh, what is force, sir? Work in physics is the amount of energy you put to move things around. Uh, I still don't really get it. Can you explain it in, in a simpler way? To make it simple, work is connected with pushing or pulling. For example, when I push this chair, that means that I already give work to, to the chair. From what I learned from my science teacher, pulling a chair is a force. Does force and work is related to one another or it isn't? You are correct. Work and force is related to one another. So we concluded that work is produced by the force given to an object in order to make it move. I really want to know about work. Can you tell me more? Let's jump to the explanation. Now we're talking about the formula of work. There's two formula right here, which is W equal F time S and W equal F time S time cos theta, which in here, W is work uh, by using Joule, F is force with Newton, S is displacement with meter, and theta is the angle between direction of force and its displacement. Let's jump out into the examples. Okay, a uh, 150 newton force is applied to an object. Then the object moves for 30 cm horizontally. How much does the work done on an object? In here, right, let's write all the data we have. Uh, the first one is the of 150 newton and the 30 cm, which in here, of course, there is force, so it should F equal 150 newton and this should be the displacement but don't forget that displacement we must convert if here is in centimeter we must change it into meter so 30 centimeters should be uh, 0 0.3 meters so but uh, in the question they ask about the, what is the work so our answer it should be it should be um w work equal force time displacement which is one one hundred fifty times zero point three which it should be um three okay forty five joule okay um this here this is the first example answer and discussion let's jump out into the second today we have a block with a mass of 50 kg on the floor is lifted to a height of 8 meter if gravitational force is 10 meter s square then determine the amount of work exerted on the block uh, still the same write the data we all have first um, the mass is 50 kilogram but if you guys ask that uh, in the formula they don't write anything about mass well just uh, check it out the height the height in here it should be the displacement but because it's already in meter so uh, it just remains the same and gravitational force for the gravitational force is still the same about the mask they ask about the work uh, you guys must be asking what is the ratio of mass and gravitational force to work in the formula there is iron mass or gravitational force in here, when you see mass and gravitational force, it can make a weight and it concludes to the force. It is related to one another. So, uh, if you guys doesn't see any force right here, you can just use it. But if you find mass and gravitational force, you can use two of them by using this. The force, we change it into 
mass time gravitational force time displacement it 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 should be it should be four thousand joule that is the second one let's jump out into the last one which uh this is a little different by using the second formula uh 30 newton force that forms an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal direction is applied on the box then the box moves three meters horizontally okay in here there's written a form that forms an angle that means the theta right here is 45 okay let's write all the data we have Uh, the force so we didn't use the mass time gravitational force um, theta is 45 mm, this should be the displacement it already emitter so we don't have to change it again Okay, we use the second formula by, uh, if you guys still remember, the F is 30, the S is 3, cos theta is cos 45, write it again, 30 times 3, cos 45 is a half and root 2, so if we have right here, it should be like this. 45 root 2. The jaw. Don't forget the jaw, okay, guys? Um, that's all for my video today. Uh, thank you for all of you guys that been stay tuned and following my videos all along. Um, thank you and goodbye. See you on the next video.